first pot, I'm going to start off with some olive oil and I'm going to add my onions and I'm going to braise the onions and I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. And I add in like half a cup of mixed veg and I'm going to put some salt and some pepper into this. Salt and pepper have gone in. I've got two cups of basmati brown rice which goes in now. And I'm just going to top it in here for a few minutes and add water and let the rice cook. So two cup rice and half a cup of mixed veg and a half onion. The rice now gets topped up with water and you bring it up to a boil and you let it simmer and steam. I've heated my wok up and I've added in some fresh ginger, some garlic and I'm going to put in Mariam's green masala. So around um, put the ginger, garlic and the green masala for minutes and I'm adding in my chicken and I'm going to add more salt and pepper into the chicken. What I'm doing is searing the chicken and just making sure that it's semi-cooked like three quarter cooked because if you overcook chicken it becomes really dry so just semi-cooked. What you want to do is just toss the chicken with the vegetables and just keep it on a low heat until you get the sauce ready. For the sauce, I start off with half a cup of water and I put in some dark soya sauce. Dark soya sauce is much richer and it actually has um, a little bit more sweetness to it. I add in a light soya sauce. I'm going to add in this red chili paste and I'm going to add in some rice vinegar and I'm going to add in um, a tea, two teaspoons of corn flour so that when you add it into the veg and the chicken it thickens up. I've added my chili paste and my rice vinegar and the corn flour. I'm just stirring it to make a slurry for it to go over the chicken and the veg. Into my chicken and the veg goes this slurry and I just want to lower it down because I don't want the water to be completely absorbed. Um, I want it to just be binded through with the chicken. This comes together ever so quickly. You just want to make sure that the sauce is thickened up and every bit of the veg and the chicken has been covered with the sauce and it's done. Steaming the rice is almost there. Chicken is done and my rice is done. And now what I'm doing is heating up my cast iron plate on the stove. I've drizzled a little bit of olive oil onto the pan and now I've got some red cabbage and some green cabbage and I'm going to make a bed of the cabbage on the plate. This looks really bright and colorful and you can hear the sizzle from the bottom of this cast iron pan. I'm now going to take my rice and put it around the edges of the dish. So I've made a little well in the middle and the rice goes around. The chicken now goes into the center of the well and you, wouldn't, you want some of the sauce around the edges of this plate as well. You want the Indo-Chinese sizzling platter to really sizzle up before you actually put it onto the board to put onto the table. That's sizzling away, it's ready to serve. So onto my board over here. You have a delicious sizzling platter that you can serve to the family today. It's got propitious vegetables at the bottom, layered on a bed of rice, with juicy vegetables and chicken and a lovely sauce. All it needs is a little bit of spring onions and it's time for dinner. Shazzy.